right, here we are in The Last of Us Part 1 PC, and the graphics look excellent. We're gonna be benchmarking this scene, and we're gonna be looking at this on a variety of GPUs. But one thing I wanna point out is the VRAM in this game. I suspected it based on the system requirements chart, and um, the game is confirming it. So we can see it. the game actually gives its own VRAM usage uh, indicator, as well as I'm running MSI Afterburner using Riva Tuner's statistics server uh, up here. And you can see uh, my green memory indicator up here. On the left, it's showing the allocated VRAM. And on the right here, it's showing the actual per process usage, how much the game should actually be using. Also, the system requirements indicated this game might want 32 gigabytes of VRAM at the highest, uh, sorry, of, of system RAM, uh, which is, it doesn't seem to be the case, at least from what I've tested so far. The system RAM allocation here is a little over 16 gigabytes. And then my actual usage is showing closer to 12 gigabytes in this scene. Now, right now we're testing out the RTX 4090, but I do plan to test out some other GPUs in this video, although maybe keep it to a minimum because, guys, the shader compilation step in this game when you load it up took me... I mean, I didn't actually set a timer, but it must have been about a half hour. Um, and I'm on a fast CPU. A slower CPU would take even longer. And so if I have to do that every time I swap out a GPU, um, <laughs> we'll do a few at least. But anyway, so here, here's the thing. We can show that on the uh, RTX 4090 at 4K resolution, and we are at the ultra preset, uh, you can see that, um, let me show you the, the graphics preset here at the ultra preset. We can see that in this scene, I'm getting around 78 FPS. And then in uh, some of the car drive scene coming up to this point, it did dip to around 60, but I was mostly holding over 60 and usually much over 60 on the 4090 at native resolution, which is good to see. Now let's talk about the VRAM though. So it's looking like at 4K native ultra resolution, it is the game's indicating you'd want about 11 and a half gigabytes, and I'm showing 12 gigabytes of usage in this particular scene, and I have seen it go up to 13 or 14 uh, just through the intro of the game. So that means that if you're on a card like a 3080 10 gigabyte, uh, you're probably gonna wanna tweak things down a little bit. Here's the good news. If you go down to the high setting, the game projects only needing about 10 gigabytes of, of VRAM, and that's probably a good deal to make. Also, we can take a look at ultra versus high here, at 4K and look at both the image quality and the performance that we get. So let's actually test out 4K Ultra a bit on the 4090. I'm gonna start up a little benchmark counter. So there's a lot of characters on screen here, all of that. So this should be a decent, uh, decent test of the GPU. We'll get an explosion happening here. The frame time graph looks perfectly smooth. So I think the shader compilation did its job. And overall, we see we're going through about 80 FPS there um, at 4K, 12 gigabytes of VRAM, native resolution. So now let's look at what if we drop down to the high settings. And it does seem like I can apply them in game. The performance goes up, the visuals do change. It doesn't prompt me for a restart. So hopefully it's really applying everything. Um, some games do require a restart, but this seems like everything is applying correctly. And let's actually just load back into my um, uh, initial save and do this run through one more time. So I'll restart my benchmark counter. Now, if you look at the VRAM al uh, usage, it, we're right at 10 gigabytes. So like a 3080 10 gigabyte would be fine at these settings, although it's really pushing right at its limit. But the high settings should be fine here. And the overall performance has jumped up into the mid 90 FPS range running that same benchmark scene. So it looks very scalable just by going down to the high settings, which I think is fantastic. Um, uh, I like to see that for sure. Now also, this game does feature resolution scaling, which is very, very good to see. So the... Um, by the way, if you see I'm in borderless window and you're like, go to full screen window, there is no full screen option. It's borderless window. Now in a proper DX12 implementation, I think that should be fine. Also, the game has good ultra wide support and it lets you choose whether you want to uh, letterbox out or pillar box out the, um, the sides of the screen during cut scenes and stuff where you might see things they didn't intend you to. But anyway, so good, good stuff here. But I think what I want us to do here is look at the render resolution scaling. Because for a lot of people, you're going to want to either use FSR2 or DLSS2 
at the quality setting, it, this game does not have frame generation, but it does have the normal FSR2 and DLSS. If I go ahead and kick on DLSS Super Resolution, we should now get an even larger boost to performance. And in fact, I'm actually now CPU limited. You can see my GPU usage is not um, going up to 100% anymore. Although I can go ahead and kick on, um, I can kick back up to the ultra settings. So let's do that, put more load back onto the GPU. So it's looking like another way to stay at about 10 gigabytes is to stay at the ultra settings, but um, go down to 1440p render using DLSS, right? So we're still at a 4K output resolution, but rendering at 1440p uh, using DLSS, but with the ultra graphics settings. And now let's go ahead and jump back into the uh, same little benchmark run here. Oh, wait, let me actually kick on the average counter. <laughs> there we go. I'm noticing the frame time graph is slightly less smooth because I think frame rates are so high, I'm actually running into a bit of a CPU limitation. You can see the GPU just dropped to 85% utilization during that explosion. So yeah, the 4090 is just so powerful that um, it's pushing up into the limits of the CPU here. So the 4090 could have even done better than we, what we saw there. But we do see that the VRAM is under control at 10 gigabytes, and we saw a bigger performance boost by enabling DLSS than we saw by going down to high settings. And then going down to high plus DLSS, you know, would get you another very welcome boost. So um, overall, the 4090 seems to be in absolutely great shape here. Performance is awesome. Um, you can just play it at ultra settings native. Of course, we would expect that on the 4090, but we're also looking at how to bring in VRAM under control and all that. But I think that would make more sense to explore on some uh, GPUs, right? The 4090 seems to make sense at, um, at 4K. So why don't we go to 1440p and uh, explore some other hardware? I decided to throw in my GTX 1060 to see how well this game will run on older hardware. And during shader compilation, I managed to get in about half of my workout routines in my home gym. So anyway, at least at least there was that. In other words, yeah, the long shader compilation. Now we've got GTX 1066 gigabyte loaded up here, and the game has automatically selected to upscale with FSR2 Ultra Performance Mode. And uh, that's rendering it at 360p when I was just trying to play at 1080p. And not only that, it's decided to do that at the low settings. Let's go ahead and actually load up the game and hope that we can turn up some settings and do fine. Let's find out. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Wow, that looks bad. Okay, we're gonna run this little benchmark scene at what the game defaulted to. The good news is, looks like we're getting 70 FPS. The bad news is, this looks so pixelated. Because, well, we're running at 360p and upscaling. Okay, well, so I'm gonna say that playing this game at 60 FPS is probably not going to be what we wanna do. And while I do hope we can turn up some settings, I think that the number one thing we're gonna wanna do on a card like the 1060 is to, um, not upscale so aggressively. That is just way too pixelated. Let's see what happens. Actually, let's just see what happens if we play the game at a native 1080p at the low settings. So let's just turn off upscaling and let's load back in to the start of my little benchmark area here. It keeps generating new auto saves that I have to scroll past. Anyway, that's fine. All right, let's see how we do now. Okay, I can tell you right now that even though we're playing in the 40 FPS range, I massively prefer this to the pixelated look that we were getting in order to get uh, <laughs> uh, to get it to around 70 FPS. This looks much better. And you know what? The game is playable at these settings. And I mean, didn't consoles originally play the game at 30 FPS, so we're still we're still beating that. So I think that let's actually look at a couple of options. So now let's actually look at what if we pushed up to medium settings? Okay, it's giving me a VRAM warning though. If we go up to medium settings, 
it's saying our VRAM usage will be at 122%. So I'm just curious what will happen if we just go ahead and do this anyway. Um, I'm guessing it's just going to spill into system RAM and slow us down pretty significantly. That's what how most games handle that. <laughs> and let's go ahead and load up the same same area. Now I'm on a DDR5 RAM based system, so it'll it might handle spillover into system RAM better than if you were on slower RAM. But it does look like we're able to get around 30 FPS range here at 1080p medium settings. Although again, I think it is spilling over into system RAM. It seems totally playable though. Although if you're on more limited amounts or speeds of RAM, maybe your mileage would vary here. Cause like I said, I've put in an older graphics card, but I'm still on a very high end platform overall. So I think what we're gonna do now is look at what if we upscaled, but just not so aggressively as it was originally wanting to do. So in other words, what if we do use FSR2, but we don't go to the ultra performance mode? What if we look at the quality mode? So we're playing the game at 720p. Um, let's apply changes there. So 720p. And it says that our VRAM usage is still over the, uh, over the amount they would like. So we might still have pretty bad performance, but we can play around with things. Okay, yeah, I can definitely tell it's a lot more pixelated looking, even using the quality setting on FSR. But I'm also looking at this on a very large screen because I'm on a 4K <laughs> screen. So on a smaller screen, this might still look all right. We did definitely get a lot of performance back by upscaling. So we're up into the 40s now with the medium settings. So I'm going to say that this game is definitely going to be playable, but I just uh, on older hardware like this, but I just don't think that you should be targeting 60 frames per second. I think it's going to make a lot more sense um, to be targeting something more like 30 frames per second. Now, if we try low settings with the quality upscaling, I'm curious how high our performance would get. Um, just clicked no instead of yes. I'm not very good at this game. All right, so this is the low settings with FSR2 quality, so a 720p render upscaled to 1080p, with the low settings. And it's looking like we're actually now in the mid 50 range. If you're on a variable refresh rate screen, this would probably be pretty great. If not, you can always look at setting like a custom 50 hertz setting on your monitor and frame rate capping to 50. And you might actually be pretty good here if you do want the higher refresh rate versus the image quality. So yeah, I think that based on the limited testing I'm, I'm able to do here, obviously other parts of the game could perform differently. I'm gonna say that if you're wanting higher refresh rates, I think don't upscale beyond the quality setting. Uh, it just looks too, too ugly in my opinion. And personally, I would probably lean in to playing at the native resolution at a lower target frame rate. Uh, but it looks like you could at least get a pretty good frame rate at um, with the FSR2 quality. So definitely playable on the 1060, although definitely not fully taking advantage of all the visual, <laughs> visual upgrades that the game could offer you. It does look like at the low settings native 1080p, uh, you can at least stay within the VRAM allocation of the six gigabyte card. Now, if you're on a lower card, I think you would probably be upscaling as well to hit what you gotta do. All right, I'm gonna pop in some more modern GPUs, mid-range GPUs, and uh, probably have some uh, you know, time to play with my kids for a while while I wait for the shader compilation to start. And if you heard kids shows in the background, uh, they're home on spring break with me. So anyway, see you guys, well, instantly for you and in a while for me. All right, had time to finish my workout, play with my kids, and the shader compilation is now complete for the 3060 Ti. And we're gonna start out at 1080p. We'll also look at 1440p on this GPU, and then we'll compare it to an AMD competitor, probably the 6700 XT. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the graphic settings. So first of all, I'm leaving it how the game defaulted to for our first benchmark run. Notice it says custom. So it actually selected its own settings for the game beyond a preset, which is interesting. 
And it looks like it's a mixture of high settings and medium settings, especially the texture settings at medium, and then a lot of other things at high. I think the reason it's doing that is to stay within the eight gigabyte VRAM buffer. Notice that right now um, we're, we're under our eight gigabytes that the 3060 Ti has, and we're running at the native 1080p. So given that this is the game's default, let's benchmark this first and then we'll compare it to some of the other preset options. It's looking like the game is staying well under its eight gigabytes and performance looks quite good here up in the mid 80 FPS range. See how the explosion goes. Everything seems pretty smooth. Yeah, overall performance seems very good at those defaulted settings. So let's go ahead and reload back into the um, initial spot and test out some other graphic settings through this same little benchmark run. So we're going to leave it at 1080p native for now, but let's go to what if we did try to play the game at the ultra preset. We're going to apply those changes. It says that our performance may be hit by insufficient VRAM. It's saying it's trying to use around 10 gigabytes but the game, uh, but the GPU just doesn't have that, so we're 135% um, of our VRAM budget. But it could just spill into system memory and be fine, or sometimes it means that textures don't load in properly. So definitely be aware. Restart our, our uh, frame rate counter. Okay, definitely seeing a few more little stutters here and there. Those could be related to the VRAM issues. But overall performance, yeah, did you see that big stutter there? I believe that large stutter is due to the VRAM spilling over. So performance is good, but looks like we might see extra stuttering due to those. And you see the 1% lows dip down to 38. So I have a feeling that that's VRAM related. It'll be interesting to compare it to the 6700 XT here shortly. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what if we just went down to the high preset. So at the high preset, it's warning that we might be right at the 100% VRAM usage. Um, but hopefully that'll avoid some of those stutters that we were seeing. Uh, um, and you know, maybe they'd occur in the game in certain areas, but probably, hopefully not too frequently. But let's just go ahead and see what happens if we run through that same run at the high preset. And away we go. So high preset. Looks like we're in the 80s. Keep your eyes closed, honey. And again, different scenes in the game could perform differently. I chose this one because it's early in the game, has explosions, lots of characters on screen. And notice we're not seeing the stutters this time. The 1% lows are good. So yeah, I think that it looks like you could just go with the high preset and everything seems fine. Although we could have also used what the game actually defaulted to. So I think we're gonna switch this to 1440p and see what we can do. All right, I have restarted the game at 1440p. Since it has borderless windowed mode, I can't just adjust it in full screen mode. I have to actually set my desktop resolution, but whatever. Anyway, uh, here we are. So 3060 Ti, 1440p native resolution. And we're starting out at the ultra graphics preset which is going to try to use a lot more VRAM than we have, but let's go ahead and get this as a baseline performance, and then we will see where we can go from here. So it's looking like we are in the mid 40 FPS range. And I'll be curious if we see any stuttering or if it's just generally bad performance overall. Let's see what happens with this explosion. Uh, some stuttering there. Yeah, some stuttering as I turn the corner here as well. Again, look at the frame time graph and the 1% lows to see those stutters. Yeah, oh wow, a lot of stuttering right there. So yeah, we're definitely seeing some problems on the frame time graph, terrible 1% lows. So we are absolutely going to want to turn down the graphics settings. Let's try going down to the high preset. And it's still warning us that we are over our VRAM buffer um, by less now, <laughs> but it's still suggesting that we could be a little bit over what uh, the card can actually do. But let's go ahead and load the game back to our benchmark run beginning. 
All right, looks like our performance average here is much closer to 60 FPS, which is good. We can also see the spillover of the system RAM quite a bit. Okay, not too much st stuttering. You can see there's a lot of system RAM being used though. So I think there is some amount of spillover. All right, not too bad at the high settings. So I think we're actually doing all right here. So it's looking like those might be usable, but there could be other areas of the game where it uses a bit more RAM than what we were doing here. Notice it's saying the game is using right about eight gigabytes, but then if you look at the other operating system, background, whatever stuff, um, that's where it might spill over. And again, we saw the actual RAM on the system uh, going up close to 16 gigabytes. So if you were on a 16 gigabyte system, not a 32 gigabyte system, you might be seeing more issues than what I'm seeing here. Also, I'm on DDR5, which probably helps when we have to access system memory. Let's go down to the medium preset, which should further uh, increase performance and reduce VRAM load. And then we'll also look at upscaling before we switch GPUs. So let's go ahead and look at performance here. So going down to medium settings, notice the system RAM is lower now. So I think there's less spillover from VRAM into system RAM. Overall performance is in the mid 60s, which is a lot nicer. Let's see how our 1% lows do. Looks pretty smooth overall. Yeah, it's looking like at native resolution, 1440p medium is probably the safest bet for performance and RAM and, and VRAM utilization. But let's go ahead and look at what happens if we go back to the higher settings like Ultra, but instead of turning down settings um, in the graphics menu, what if we lower the rendering resolution and upscale with DLSS? So using DLSS quality brings the render resolution down to 960p, but then it tries to upscale from there. And let's go ahead and load back into our save point. Okay, so it's looking like ultra settings. DLSS looks pretty good here, in my opinion. We're right around 60 FPS average, but the 1% lows are, are a bit more stuttery. Also look at the system RAM. The system RAM is going up to 16 gigabyte usage again. So I still think we're a bit over where we'd like to be. Ooh, and my game is literally crashing. Okay, the game crashed. Now I can't confirm that that was due to the VRAM, but I also uh, can't confirm that it wasn't. All right, so <laughs> high settings, 1440p DLSS quality after the game crash. 1% uh, lows still seem a little unstable. Overall average performance seems good. Nothing too terrible here. All right, big stutter right there. And that's where we saw the game crash before. I think it might be loading in stuff that going into the next area and the VRAM spillover may have killed it last time. I'm yeah. suspecting that may be what happened. So let's go ahead and go down into medium and we'll look at medium with the DLSS quality settings enabled and then we'll switch over to uh, another GPU. All right, we're going to start up the benchmark run. Looks like we're averaging almost 100 FPS at these settings. And now it looks like I'm not seeing those stutters that I think are VRAM spillover related. The frame time graph looks very smooth. The 1% lows, very good. So yeah, if you don't mind using some upscaling, oh, I might be hitting a game crash again though, so it might not just be a VRAM issue. I think the game could just be a bit unstable because the game did crash once again. All right, well anyway, let's test out uh, an AMD GPU. Let's look at the 6700 XT. 
All right, just loaded up the 6700 XT, had time to edit most of the video with my other GPUs while I waited for shaders to compile. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is native 1080p, no upscaling. The game defaulted to some custom settings, which look like mostly high, but they actually turned the textures up to ultra. And then again, looks like mostly high on the other stuff. Let's test it out at what the game has selected for its defaults. And then we will try out the... Um, uh, actual presets in the game. Looking like at these settings, again, mostly mix of high and ultra textures, we're getting around 60 FPS. Frame time graph looks pretty smooth. Nothing too crazy happening when the car explosion happened. Alright, looking like a mostly 60 FPS experience here. So we will switch up the settings and look at what if we just went ahead and tried to max everything out at uh, Ultra. Right, Ultra settings. Let's load back into our benchmark run here. All right, performance dropping down into the mid 40s if we try 1080p Ultra. By the way, because people always ask, do I have smart access memory enabled? Ooh, there's a big stutter right there. I think we could be actually, ooh, big stutter there as well. Stuttering there. I think we could actually be over the uh, VRAM buffer here, even though this goes up to 12 gigabytes. And. I do have smart access memory and resizable bar enabled, which is what I was going to say. All right, so it looked very stuttery there with everything at ultra. So let's try going down to everything at high, which is actually, I think, a step down from where we had the game on its uh, default. But let's do the full high preset for a comparison. All right, 1080p high settings, we're doing much, much better than we were at the Ultra. All right. Looks like good performance. 1% lows in the mid 50s, average in the mid 70s. Looks pretty stable. So yeah, looking like high settings are a pretty good choice here uh, for this GPU. Let's switch it over to 1080, uh, sorry, 1440p. Okay, just restarted the game at 1440p. We're going to look at the ultra settings first. It warns us that the 12 gigabytes of VRAM might just be kind of borderline here. So we'll see how that goes. Again, we are at 1440p native rendering resolution. Let's kick in the benchmark. So far, frame time graph looks smooth, although our performance is only in the mid 40s. Let's see what happens with the explosion. Yeah, free, it seems like pretty smooth frame time graph, but just not the greatest performance at these settings. So we'll either want to turn down settings or um, upscale. But, I mean, some people are fine playing in the mid-40s, so it looks like you certainly could just max the game out at 1440p if you want to. Let's go down to the high preset before we look at any kind of resolution scaling, see what happens with our performance here. Jump back into the uh, save here. All right, start up the benchmark. It's looking like 1440p high settings. VRAM utilization looks to be around 10 gigabytes, which is fine on the 12 gigabyte card, and looks like the overall average is in the 60s. Even during the explosion, it looks like we only dropped the 1% lows into the 50s. And overall looks pretty smooth there. The mid 60 FPS range average at 1440p high. So to me, it looks like 1440p high settings is probably the way to go on the GPU. 
Let's go ahead and drop down to medium, not because we really need to, but some people uh, would be looking for a higher refresh rate experience. So let's test it out. All right, medium settings. Looks like we're definitely getting higher average FPS. Currently in the 70s. I think the explosion usually hits a little bit harder. So still dropping a little bit on the explosion. 1% lows, still around 53, which is similar to what we saw in the other settings, although the overall average is much closer to 69. Nice here. One little stutter there, and I think it might be a loading zone transition or something. That, that seems to be a consistent stutter on uh, multiple of the GPUs we've tested here. Let's look at resolution scaling real quick um, before we go. So being a AMD GPU, we can just do FSR2, which I don't think looks quite as good as DLSS, but at 1440p can look uh, pretty reasonably good. And I think uh, let's kick up to the ultra settings when we do it. So ultra settings, FSR2 quality upscale and load back into the same benchmark run. And away we go. So it looks like ultra settings with FSR2 quality seems to have the VRAM under control as well as the performance. So huge performance boost by enabling FSR2 quality. See how it handles the explosion just fine. 1% lows are much better than we even saw going down uh, to like medium and such. Our 1% lows are 60 and average FPS around 69. Nice. So let's do one last test before we're done and do final thoughts, which is going to be high settings at FSR2 upscaling. Although maybe we'll test out medium that way as well, since I think we did that on the 3060 Ti. Although with the VRAM on this card, I don't think we really need it. All right, looks like FSR2 quality, 1440p high settings. We're averaging closer to 80 FPS. I will say image quality wise, DLSS has a little less fizzling around characters as they move across objects and there's disocclusion. 1% lows actually look a little bit worse here than they did on the um, ultra settings for some reason. <laughs> Let's look at medium with FSR2 quality real quick and then give some final thoughts on the PC performance of the game. All right. So FSR2 quality, medium settings. Overall performance is pretty good. Looks like we're in the mid 80s. Let's see how the explosion goes here. My GPU utilization is reporting kind of low. Almost feels like we're weirdly, could we be CPU limited somehow? I don't know, something seems strange here with the GPU utilization. Anyway, let's go ahead and give some final thoughts. Well, my final thoughts are a little bit mixed. Overall, I think the game looks absolutely great on PC. I mean, on the 4090 maxed out at 4K, it's looking great performing well. However, that's an incredibly high-end setup that most people don't have. It seems like on all of the GPUs I tested, including the 1060, we could reach playable frame rates um, at acceptable settings. It certainly does look like the, um, the VRAM issues are real. You will want to be mindful of the VRAM settings you're at, and I also don't like the crashing that I saw. At first I thought it might be VRAM related, but then we saw it crashing where I don't think we were VRAM limited, and I, now that the game's been out for a few hours, you can see early reports on Steam of a lot of people also reporting crashing. So I'm a little concerned that the game might be unstable at launch, and I hate to see that. Um, hopefully, again, patches will fix things, but I, I really hate that we give that excuse. I would like to get a, a nicely working port at launch, so there's that. 
Also, in that particular scene I was testing, it did seem like, especially as the car exploded, things like that, we could see some CPU limitations. Now, I'm on a Ryzen 7700X based system with DDR5 30, uh, sorry, 6000 memory. Um, it's not the absolute fastest CPU out there, but it's close. <laughs> I will be upgrading to a 7800X 3D soon, uh, once those launch in a, in a few weeks. Anyway, the, the point is that although my CPU limitations weren't at terrible frame rates, I'm worried that people on older CPUs could start to see uh, some issues there, although different scenes in the game might be more or less limited by the CPU situation. So overall, I've got to give the launch here a bit of a, a mixed bag. Um, I didn't like the instability I saw, although I will note the only crashing I saw now that I think about it was when I had the had DLSS enabled. That could be a coincidence, but that was the only crashing that I saw. But this is a pretty limited sample size compared to all the uh, the PC players out there. And again, uh, looking at like the Steam reviews and Steam forums, you're seeing a variety of, of issues, which brings me to the other issue of that incredibly long shader compilation, which is going to be faster uh, based on your CPU or slower based on your CPU. So I'm a little bit worried that we'll see people on lower end CPUs spend literally hours doing shader compilation and then by the time they've actually loaded into the game, they won't be able to test it very much before they're out of their two hour um, playtime of uh, limitation for a Steam refund. And um, depending on the stability of the game and the performance, I mean, this, this is a very demanding game. And like I said, the, the performance did seem a bit unstable. So I'm hoping people aren't unable to refund the game if they're finding it not meeting their specifications based on that long shader compilation. Uh, that seems like an unfortunate um, situation. Anyway, these are the official system requirements. I was not able to test everything that's in here, especially the CPU side of things. I would like to test more GPUs, but again, this took me hours of shader compilation just to test the, the what, four GPUs I did in this video. Um, but let me know in the comment section if you really would like a follow-up video, and you guys could also post how it's performing on your system in the comments so maybe people can see how it's running for people. Uh, in, in a similar uh, setup to what they have. I hope all of you have an excellent day.